This game is trolling me! I gotta get out of here! Come on, man, come on. Come on, brother. There we go, let's get over here. Alright, thank you, thank you very much. Well, that's that's his head already down. <laughs> what? That's not the quickest time I've ever taken down his head in one go. Do 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 do! 46 crit damage! You guys see that? That's just from this crappy little thing! Oh! <laughs> nice! Is he still around here? Oh my god, for some reason I thought he'd despawn right there. I was actually getting kind of nervous. Right, I feel like I should go back over here. There are so many demon altars around here. This is actually crazy. 48 crit damage? Oh man, are we going to get a 50 crit damage? That is the question I would like answering. Is it something that can happen? Alright, give me that little mana star. Alright, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Come on, what are you waiting for? Christmas? Oh, there goes the hunter potion. I now no longer know where he is all the time. Although, to be honest with you guys, his uh, health bar kind of gives it away most of the time, doesn't it? Alright. Come on! Come back, you little sissy! Where you at? Come on! Come on, pony stance. Pony stance. Come on! There we go, there we go, there we go. Love it, love it, love everything about it. Come on! And health! Oh my god. It, it's not a difficult fight. It really isn't. Not by any stretch. I just, I'm just i just uh, kicking myself that I didn't bring mana potions with me. This would have been done so much quicker if I had mana potions. Like, for real. Alright. There we go. More ponage stance. There we go. Oh yeah. How much have we got? 177. I think we're going to wind up with more than 200 demon eye at this point. I would not be surprised at all. Alright. Little guy left. Hadouken! And he's out of the game. Right. Any more down here? Oh, not by the looks of it. Alright. Let's go over here, pick up some stuffs, and let's go ahead and recollect ourselves back at the base. And basically, we'll be able to make ourselves some, uh, some cool tools, right? And then we can do some other things. Right. Hello. Hi. Right. Hello. More of you, eh? Right. Ah, meteorites! Yes! Awesome! That's brilliant! Right, okay. Uh, will I be able to put a bomb in here? Again, precision placing. Is that gonna do the job? Oh! Ooh! You, you almost knocked me into my own bomb blast radius, you jerk! Oh my god, I would have kicked myself. I would have absolutely kicked myself. Right, boom. There we go. Ah, oh, really? Your little brothers are coming out to play, are they? Hmm? That's something that's happening. Come on, man. There we go. Give me the worm teeth. There we go. They can self with nicer, man. Are you for real right now? Can I actually not get through there? Ah, oh, that's just mean. What if I do this? Oh, nice. <laughs> I used a hammer I can get through. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. What the hell is going on here? This is some weird corruption generation. Right, okay, I'm going to use a bit of dynamite right here. There we go. Ah, oh, man. Dynamite is so costly to use. It costs one and a half gold, ladies and gentlemen. What? Ancient Shadow Scale Mail. Oh, my God. Well, that's something you don't get every day. Huh. <laughs> well, holy crap. I did not expect that. I am genuinely surprised. I mean, I'm not going to use it, obviously, because we're a mage, and we're going to use mage armor. Obviously, we've got a, uh, a meteorite landed, so we should be able to make ourselves the meteorite armor. How's that going? Ah, damn it. Well, I'm going to make a sticky bomb, and I'm going to use it up in here. Is that going to be enough to break me through there? Yes. All right, fantastic. I am doing well. I am doing well, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very well. All right. Now the question is, are there three more Shadow Orbs? Because if there are, I may actually take down the uh, the Eater of Wilds one last time. Alright, let's just go down here. Underground Mushroom Biome. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's one Shadow Orb. Uh, there's another one over there. Now uh, the question is, is there a third one? I have a feeling the answer is no. Because that is how Terraria works. It never gives you things in like perfect amounts. 
It just doesn't. That's not how Terraria works. Yeah, I think that might be it. Hey, get out of here, you stupid idiot. Right. Okay. I guess that's kind of cool. Okay, little vase splurgy things. By the looks of it, that continues over this way a little bit, but I don't think there's any more shadow orbs. Honestly, don't think there are. In which case, what we are going to do is we are going to head back to base. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't bring your recall potions with me. Oh, Python derp. Python done derped. I am a bit of a dumbass. Right, okay. <clears throat> My god, this is really narrow, isn't it? A very narrow chasm indeed. That, is that a star over there? It is. I love me a star. Thank you. Oh my god. Right, okay, let me go ahead and put that up there, and I'm going to swap that so we can get back to base a little bit quicker. Okay, all good. In the hood of Terraria. Right, okay, we have 218 bits of demonite ore. That, that should be more than enough to make shadow armor, but I'm not going to make it because I'm probably going to save it for something else. I don't know, the pickaxe and maybe the hammer would be a higher priority at this point. Oh my god, there are so many stars about. Is it like a full moon or something? Look at the amount of stars around here. That's crazy. Any up here? I have a feeling. No? Right. Oh, careful. Oh man, if I die full damage in my own base, that would be pretty hilarious. And very, very embarrassing at the same time. Right, okay, what have we got here? We have ourselves two more mana crystals. We now have 200 mana, but... I, for a fact, know that we can go way past that, because obviously this gives us 80, this gives us 20 more, so, and then if we have this, it should give us a grand total of 320 mana if I manage to get all the mana studs. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an absolutely ridiculous amount of stuff. Right, okay, let's go ahead and check some stuff in there. Obviously, you don't need that. What else have we got in there? Band of star power. I'm going to put that in my accessories chest. Scale mail, don't need that. I don't know, I might put that on the uh, mannequin. No idea yet. Right, okay, let's go downstairs and let's see what kind of things we can make, shall we? Let's do that. And then, I I don't know what I'm going to do next, honestly. I'm just trying to think. Should I work in the house or should I try to go for the meteor? Or I could do both. Hmm. I could do both. Damaged? Oh man, you suck. Why you do this to me? Hmm? Why you actually do this to me? Right, you get in there, you get in there. Unfortunately, we don't have obsidian. And we... Good, we need to make some furniture, don't we? Let's, we need to do that. Right, okay. Uh, we've got Boreal furniture. We have Dynasty furniture. Let's do this, shall we? I have no idea how many things I actually have. Wow, those seats look weird. They don't have... What the... They don't have legs on them. Is that how it is? Can I can I change it? Not, not by the looks of it. Alright. I mean, I guess I'm going to go and chuck these things in here. Try and get some more NPCs to spawn. That would be very cool indeed. Alright, I'm going to put this one here. There we go. Actually, I've, got, I've changed my mind. I'm going to put that right beside the door. All right. Boom. And boom. Nice. And up here. Obviously, this one won't count because there's no wall. As with this one. Okay, and I guess we could just fill in the ones that we can, I guess. So, one up there. One up here. Come on. Demolitionist! You are the dude that I need. You are the dude that I want. The dude that I want right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I did not make that reference. Shut up. Shut up. I did not make a Grease reference. I did not... I was not in the band. When we did Grease as the musical production in my high school. Shut up. You don't know nothing about anything. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Okay. That should be enough. Maybe we need to chuck a torch in there. You know. Because you do need light in the NPC houses, don't you? Boom. Boom. Go over this side. Okay. There we go. That should do the job in terms of NPC houses. The arms dealer has just arrived. He is not entirely useful to our cause right now, unfortunately. Right, okay. Does it, will the meteor show up on here? Will it show up on here, or do I actually need to try and find it? I think I might actually need to try and find it. Right, okay. I have genuinely got no idea where it can be, in which case... Mmm. Alright. I think... 
we need to go and explore the left hand side of the map because we are yet to do that. We haven't gone past the surface jungle just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to once again meet you guys beside the places we haven't explored yet. And we'll explore it together my friends. See you in a minute. Alrighty guys, here we are. We have just gone past the jungle. In fact, there's a bunch of day bloom I should be picking up. Give me the day bloom. It will be very nice indeed. Thank you. And you can go to hell. Get out of here, stupid bat. Look at that, 40 crit damage. Awesome source. Right, okay. I, I am anticipating there being some more surface chests around here. And there is indeed. There's one right down there. Awesome. Right, okay, let's just do this just so we can light it up a bit. Here we go. Wait, another corruption? Wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing. The dryad has just arrived. Okay, interesting stuff. Right, let's go up here. There are two corruptions on one side of the map. That is actually not something that happens all too often on a small world. Not at all, in fact. But the good news is, <laughs> a bunch more vile mushrooms will allow us to spawn in... The Eater of Worlds, many, many more times to come. Right, okay. Now, where the devil is this meteor? I'm expecting it to be on this side of the map, but I don't think it is. I have a feeling it isn't. Because we haven't seen it yet, and I can't see it on the map for the other side of the map. Right, okay. I <laughs> like how there's just random grass chilling there. Awesome. Right, okay. We got there yet? The fishing dude should be on this side as well, right? I think that's the case. Right, so here's what's going to happen. We need to get some neutral blocks. Ones that cannot be overcome with anything. That'll be very cool. Ah. Ah, the little dude isn't here. Where is he? What the hell? That's so weird. And there's no meteor. Surely it's not on a sky island. I've had that happen only once before, but surely not. I mean, literally, of all the places... A meteor could land. It would land in a freaking thing. Right, come on. Where is the little dude? Oh, water chest. Give to me. Thank you, buddy. Come on. Come on. My mining helmet is providing a nice amount of light right here. Loot. And that. Loot. And that. Come on. I could do this. Still got some health left. Still got health, still got health, still got health. Uh, vehicle potion. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Wow, look at the amount of stuff we've got now. Another flipper, another trident. Sweet. All right, I'm going to continue hunting for this damn meteor thing. And I shall meet you guys back, hopefully, if and when I find it. If it isn't on a skyland, of course. That would be rather annoying. <laughs> meet you guys back in a sec. Huh, well there's the demolitionist. Awesome source. Ah, here we go, meteor. Oh, that timing though. Hey, hey. Right, now the bad news is we can't walk on it because we don't have an obsidian shield or obsidian skull. Which means I will get hurt if I come in contact with it. And of course, yeah, now the blooming demolitionist spawns, doesn't he? Ah, oh, what a Oh god, what a jerk bag. Why, why does he have to do that? I mean, like, he could have spawned at any other time. He could have spawned maybe before the other ones did. Ugh. That means I'm going to have to use one of my hard-earned recoil potions to go back, buy some bombs, and then go and blow the meteor up, because that's probably the best way of mining it if you don't have the freaking thing. The, you know, the thing, the obsidian shield, skull, whatever it is. Right, okay, let me just do a bunch of quick stack crap. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Many wows. Right, okay, where's me piggy bank? Let me just chuck that down there really quick. I'm going to get three gold coins out. Pick that back up. We are going to go to the demolitionist, which is in here. Good, good day to you, Ficod or Ficod. How are you doing, brother? Huh, 100 bombs. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> wow, that's not overkill or anything, is it? Oh, man. Right, okay, once again, gonna meet you guys beside the meteor. This... Is for the lands of Terraria. Get out of here, you blooming meteor scum! Get out of here! Oh yeah, go on, get out! <laughs> oh, so brilliant! I love doing this. I do love blowing me up a little meteor thing. Oh boy! Hello! Hi! You're dead. 
You're dead. Everybody's dead. There we go. <laughs> Oh man, there we go. Oh, that even kills me. Even if it's in a diagonal direction, it still manages to hurt me. Right, okay. Do 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 do. Break that bit right there. Well, you blew up quite a significant amount of of the blooming meteor already. Oh my god, how many have we got? Eighty-four. Hmm, that's not a lot. That is not as much as you get from perhaps other meteors. Right, one there, one there. We're actually right beside the edge of the world. Oh well, it, that guy got blew up. That guy got blew up. <laughs> He was in the vicinity of the bomb, therefore it is his fault that he died. Dumbass. And, and same with him, apparently. Boom, there we go, and boom, there we go. I'm gonna go up and try and mine them four bits that are right above me. There we go, alright, come on. Yay! Yeah. Oh, man, that really does take your health away quite quickly, doesn't it? Good lord. All right. 180. I imagine once again we're gonna hit something along the lines of 200 meteorite. I don't know, honestly. Oh, oh, yeah. That that's that's quite a lot more than 200. I didn't realise I didn't have that many meteorites picked up. That's ridiculous. Well, the good news is the meteorite biome music has uh, gone away already, so that is very cool indeed. All right, let me just get rid of these so I don't have any chance of getting hurt anymore. Uh, what's that? Yep, that one hurts me still. Right, yeah, that'll do the job. Yeah, yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, oh, crap, I don't have any blooming recall potions. Ah, oh, well, that's a bit of a heartbreaker, isn't it? God damn it. Right, ooh, I've just realised something. We might be able to make the space gun, right? Space blaster? Space gun? Whatever the hell it's called? If I buy a flint... Is it a flintlock pistol? I think it's a flintlock pistol. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I buy a flintlock pistol... And then combine that with, I think it's stars and meteorite bars. I should be able to make the space blaster. Ooh, and then if we have the full meteorite armor, we are going to be like OP. Because then that thing will use absolute zero mana. <laughs> Ooh, the ultimate pre-hard mode mage. That is brilliant. Right, okay. I am going to meet you guys back at the house once hopefully we are ready to, uh, to make some things, I guess. See you guys in a minute. Oh, really? Is that all we need? Two stars and then 30 of them. Right, okay, let me just remind myself of the other things. 15, 25, 20. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make them. No doubt about it. Let's go over here. Uh, right, okay. Meteor helmet. Meteor suit. And meteor leggings. We have 38 remaining. And if we manage to find... How many stars do we have? Two! Oh my god, we can make it already. We can actually make it now. Holy guacamole. Oh, oh man, guys, oh, the bad news is it reduces our mana to just 100. We need to go on a serious star collecting mission, ladies and gentlemen. It needs to happen. Uh, nature's gift, if I replace that, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. 120 mana. Ah, oh, those two are so nice, though. They really are. I'm going to put my mining helmet on like that, and I'm going to take this off. There we go. I look like a badass now. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, looking good, looking good. I think I'm looking good right now. I have many, many accessories on me. Yeah, all right, how much does that do? 29 damage, that does 24, but obviously this uses no mana now. So actually the fact that I don't have a lot of mana doesn't really matter for now, but obviously I will still need to collect stars, especially for hard mood stuff. But yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode and indeed for this session, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episodes and of course you're excited to see more of the series, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But for now, me and my dinosaur friend, we are going to sit on our throne and look upon the world with, with, with a, a feeling of triumph in our hearts. It's, it's brilliant. Oh, love me a throne. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I appreciate your continued support very much. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.